That's right, we're back. We had so much fun at the last Outlaws game, we decided we're gonna be here at every home game. Why not? It's that much fun. Let me give you a little background on the Outlaws. They were founded in 2006 as a semi-pro arena team. 2007, 2008, 2009. They won the title in the semi-pro league, the Central Plains League. So after three peat, after a three peat, what do you do? You go pro. 2010, first year in the league, they go to the title game. It was a close game. Unfortunately, they lost to the team we beat last week. But it's 2011, it's a whole new season, and it's gonna be a great season. We're already undefeated. Can't win them all unless you win the first one. So let's win this second one and see what happens. Here we are, it's the start of the third quarter, second home game for the Mid-Missouri Outlaws, and lucky for us, we're here with the owners of the Mid-Missouri Outlaws. I've got Chad Jackson, Ethan Henson. Now I got a question for you guys. You were semi-pro in the Central Plains League, won the title three years in a row. Is that success made you decide to go pro and jump to the APFL, or what was that decision? Actually, it was some of our players. During those uh, good years of the CPFL, we would play one indoor game, and we played the Iowa Blackhawks, and uh, we ended up beating them up in Iowa. And our guys got the taste of the indoor game. They're like, we've got to move up or we're, gonna, we're, we're done playing. And so uh, we made that move into the professional league, and uh, it took us to uh, the championship the first year in the league last year, and we lost by a field goal in overtime. So, so it was one of those things that, uh, you know, it still stings, but uh, we're off to a good start. Looks like we're up by four right now. Check out this crowd. Exactly. Sedalia. That's Sedalia's team. How, how important is that hometown crowd to this whole entire there, team? There's no place in the league you play like this. Well, is it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Some things have changed in the uh, offseason for us, and uh, with those revelations that came out, and we're wreaking the benefits right now. I'll tell you right now. It just... We've never had this many people at any any of our games last year. So, yeah. I mean, this is this whole entire crowd. This is what they come out to do on these Saturday nights, and obviously the support is there for you. Did we tell you the tickets are only five dollars, and kids five and under are free? Yeah. Yes. So come out and have fun with us. We appreciate this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chad, Ethan. Thanks, guys. Thank you. home game for the Mid-Missouri Outlaws. Not as close as last week, but the Outlaws still coming out the victor. 37 to 27 over the Kansas Coyotes. What is it between Missouri and Kansas? There's always going to be that rivalry. And just like last game, the family is welcome out onto the field. You get to meet the players, meet the bootlegger cheerleaders. This is a great family experience. I'm glad that we're gonna be here at every single home game. 
This has been Dayton K with MySedalia.com. What's your scenario like? Yeah, there's a lot more co cohesiveness right now with the team. Um, you know, we're starting to gel together. Offense is starting to click a little more. Uh, defense is coming up with big plays. So uh, I know Coach Lyles was talking about having that swagger, you know, having that cocky swagger. And that's something I thought we regained tonight. You can kind of tell with the players. They had an upbeat tempo. So, uh, yeah, starting to come together more as a team. Uh, I, I, I'm the defense's biggest fan because a lot of times they cover up my mistakes. Uh, if I throw an interception, if I don't make my offense successful, then the defense has to pick it up. And um, in arena football, points go like this. So they're quick, quick, quick. And when they can shut somebody down like this, it's pretty good. So um, I'm the defense's biggest fan. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. One thing that we talk about in the Outlaw program is getting better from week to week. And, you know, we got to break down the film. We got into practice. And uh, we got some things that we wanted to work on to attack more. And uh, I'll tell you what, those guys uh, are, are learning on the run. Did a great job of opening up some holes. And my job is to take care of the football and get up the field. So great team effort tonight. You know, one thing um, I I've taken on um, personally, just uh, being very, very proud of being a part of this program because of that, that pride, um, you know, that family close knit. You know, you know, you look, from, look, look to your left, to your right, um, and you see that guys are going to take care of you and you're going to take care of them. And then you go and exude that out when you play hard and leave it out on the field. And, uh, and people understand that, and then it starts to be contagious, and then, you know, good things end up happening when, it, when everybody's on, on, on the same page like that. Nobody's more deserving than you. 